Nice service run here for Elena Crabtree, the senior from Normal, Illinois. Wow, that's another really strong serve, and Audrey Rothman had it rejected. Lead down to one. Crabtree jammed up. And there's a block by the Seminoles. Guess who? Kiari Roby, who has been heating up big time in conference play. Now watch her go up. She's out of system, which is tough, so the block waits just... Koenig again. Nice job in the back row by the Knowles to a high arcing pass to Kenneth Phelan. Koenig, big swing there. It's a great dig. Kenneth Phelan with a beautiful jump set, and Audrey Koenig just doing exactly... Yelland in to serve. Koenig again. Whoa, she can hit some angles. She does it all, Sean. Watch this set get pushed all the way out. She comes in so... And so the junior from Wesley Chapel heads to the back row. She'll serve it in. Misconnection on the set. It's a hard ball to run down. Crabtree had it stuffed. Those are always tough, but you can't knock a setter for trying. Absolutely not. Lead down to two. And there's Katrina Jensen from the right pin. Overpass and put down by Boston College. Here they come. And Jensen's going to be able to bring it if she's on. Sophia Lambros serves it in, and Florida State sides out. To Koenig, you just can't even get it up because it's such a hard swing. And so Boston College finds a way to respond. The lead is back down to one. Tight first set as Audrey Koenig's back row attack is rejected. Here's Maddie Snyder from the right pin, and Crabtree will play it up. Whoa, all right. Crabtree will serve it in. Lewis. And Boston College keeps it up. Second effort. Dug up and over. Philomawa tight to the net. Lewis had it stuffed. Oh my, three times Corey Lewis had a chance in Boston College, won it every single time. You have to admire that. It's been an eventful first set here in Tallahassee. Both teams have gone on runs. Florida State on the latest. Jensen trying to put an end to it. Philomawa with the back set to Koenig, and Chris Poole said she's got set her hands. I'd say so. So important for this Florida State offense. Tough serve by Audrey Rothman. Boston College once again out of system. One-handed diving dig by Angelia Droskovich what now. What touch that was, Sean. Schroeder kept alive and played up to Koenig. Oh, my! Wow. And they have brought it here in set one. Murphy to serve it in once more. Set to Koenig. She has been the hot hand for the Knowles. Florida State speeding towards set one now. Schroeder rolls it over the block. Over on two. That was a smart shot. Great vision of the court because they're so complete, but Jelly says, no, I just want to take it myself. Let's get this match. And so Florida State stands on the precipice, and now they have set one in their pocket until now. You see it on her face, Sean. She's very disappointed at that, but I'm sure she'll make it up with an assist shortly. Could be right here. Corey Lewis on the slide. It's a staple of what Florida State likes to do. Crabtree lets it fly. Wow. And so there is some bend in that lineup, and he's used it well time and time again. Yes, he has, and a tough serve again, exactly what Coach Kennedy had on his scouting report. To the backside, Jensen. Koenig off the block. And a massive swing by the freshman Schroeder. Close there, her timing's exactly right. She's just got to snap that wrist, and the ball goes straight down. Boston College is now on a 5-0 run. Florida State ended set one on a 7-0 run. Jensen off the block. Snyder dives for it. Koenig had it rejected. Florida State keeps it up. Second effort, and this time the Knowles can't dig it. They lead by six. Koenig, cross court on a sharp angle. 
That sends Kyleen Philomawa back to serve. It was her service run that the Knolls finished set one on. Roby, that's her first kill of the match. It feels like it's extra insulting when it happens that way too. Rothman. But a great dig by Anna Murphy there. Second effort. Good luck digging that one up. That they do in Boston College once again leads by one. Out of the middle, there's Sky Eeks checking in. Eeks a player that for Florida State has played every attacker position. A really strong service run here for Audrey Rothman. Jensen puts an end to it. You're tied 1-1 at the intermission as opposed to being down 0-2 on the road. Roby. Very much so. And to go back to her thought on Kiari Roby, she has clearly injected a lot of energy into this Florida State team. And an ace serve by Audrey Koenig continues to do so. And so that sets the stage for Jelly Droskovich. She got the set started. And she heads back to serve with the four point lead. Crabtree had it rejected. Eeks digs it out. Koenig doing good work in the back row. Florida State goes off speed. That one dug up and over. Another chance for the Eagles. Haggerty had it stuffed. It's still up. Crabtree very impressive in this run here. Can Florida State get it over? Yes! And that gets this capacity crowd on their feet. Florida State looking to go up to zip at the intermission. Draskovich to serve it in once more. And that's a good one. There's Draskovich digging that ball up. Back row, roll shot by Koenig, and that'll do it. Eats gets hurt, rebound. Rothman gets hurt, rebound. Lewis gets hurt at one point, rebound. Tough loss, rebound. It's what they have done time and time again. Jansen. I'll tell you what, you told me she was impressive when you saw her the other day. Quickly climbing to that point. She's got seven through the first two sets and the first couple of points in the third. Here's Schroeder. Draskovich once again takes it over on two. Actually works very well. Sometimes, right, you do get a little bit lost in translation. It's, it's hard to connect with your setters and it's hard to fill that stat sheet. But because Florida State hitters are so dynamic, the setters are filling their stats either way. And sometimes they call their own number two. Draskovich has done it a couple of times in this match. Now she sets Koenig out at the pin. Speaking of the pin, here's Schroeder. To the backside, Eeks. And a free ball to the Knowles. Lewis out of the middle. Oh, yeah, you had to know. Not, not as good of decisions as they should be making. This is the momentum that I'm talking about that they're going to have to figure out how to keep if they're going to take a set here. Back set, Jensen. That's a great place to start. Number three in Boston College history in terms of digs per set. Also number three in the conference this season in that same category. Sky Eeks. And it works so well. Second kill on four swings for Eeks and now she cleans up that over dig. Three point lead for the Knowles. Nice pass there. Roach, the beneficiary cross court. A great response from Roach. Coach talked to us about her. She had to fill in for so much power is another. And then she goes back to serve and floats it in just over the top of the tape. There you go, Jenna Pollock. What, three swings? Now four swings in the match. She's recorded a couple of kills off of them. Haggerty out of the middle. Quick set to Rothman. Time the ball well, but just misses the snap. Better pass on the slide, and there is Corey Lewis. Fairly effectively, haven't been able to slow down Florida State's pin hitters quite as well, but 
they do some good things and they run some pretty quick sets out to their pins and their middles and they're a pretty darn good team. He's on the Canadian Youth National Team system for a number of years as Ross is jammed up. What an effort by Petri. It kept BC in the point until Kiari Roby said no more. To us about that I thought was very impressive is the fact that he doesn't have transfers. He uses his players from the time he's recruited them all the way through. Haggerty is one of them, one that didn't even play very much last season, but it's such a force for Boston College. How they could be great individuals outside of the court, but how they can be great players inside of the court. And it's just so nice that John Gordon was able to come and talk to them about it and share insight, insightful insights to create lasting and positive impact on and off the court this season. Back to you guys. Certainly did, and Boston College has certainly done a lot of good work and taken it to heart. But and I think it's because of the fact that he doesn't have transfers, right? They come in and they all build together all the time. And they're from all over the country. Certainly are, and it's refreshing in a way, too. Like, I get it for Florida State as Rothman heads back to serve. It's a good one. And a free ball to Florida State. Back set, eats. Slow and fast to do anything with. Murphy passes it up. Jensen will lobby for a touch ball. She doesn't get it, and that'll do it. Florida State wins it in straight sets, 25, 17, 19, and 18.